we see your cell phones? Don't just tell me they're turned off. I do not believe you. Let me see your cell phones. Okay, while you're putting them on vibrate and enjoying that, um, I'm, I'm also going to tell you that the disclaimer is that I'm going to, we are filming, we are shooting, we are going to put you up on YouTube, we are going to put you on Facebook, we're going to put you on Twitter, and, and exploit the crap out of you, and, um, and there's no complaining, there's no complaining in women are right, there's no crying either. Yes, there is crying. That's why we have tissue boxes. We do. And I have extras in the kitchen, and so be sure to grab yourself, it folds up into this nice little thing. Yeah, and, and Rick Smokey from Quick Impressions, I heard a phone, Rick, it's turning off. Rick Smokey from Quick Impressions um, has made us our calendars, our tissue boxes, our pads. I mean, we, we used to have swag it every time, but we're going to have swag. He's going to, you have to tell me what kind of swag you want, because he's actually going to make us some swag. No pads. Maybe a we, 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 he, he gave, I used to give out no pads. Yeah, I think yeah. we're back up to no pads, right? We need, we need no, no pads. We need no pads yeah. because we've have all done a lot of, we've done yeah. so much writing. <laughs> we have no more no pads. Bookmarks. So and bookmarks. I know. I want to write with the people and the things. Yeah. We, we need those too. Because like the thank you. Oh, all right. Now I know this seems a little vain. It says pretty, but it's not. <laughs> but I did not buy this for myself because today Jillian Lauren has a book called Pretty that she's going to read, and, and everybody here is getting a pretty necklace. And I said to her, does it, does it seem a little boastful wearing the pretty? No. It's to give us self-esteem because we are hygiene. Because we are, we are pretty beautiful souls. Women. Yes, and so we should wear it proudly. Yeah. Yeah. Wear it proudly. So if you haven't gotten one, you'll see Jillian in the break. Hi, Anna, and and uh, and, and we're going to be and, and we're pretty. We're pretty and we're we're, we're pretty and we're proud. Oh, that's pretty cool. And that's pretty cool. Juicy on the ass, pretty on the thirst. Um, and speaking of asses, what was that all about? Oh my with, God. With J Lo and, and Cameron Diaz. With the, with the, no, they, they, they come back from the break and they're showing their asses. I'm sorry, but I am offended. You liked it? Pretty from behind and from. Yeah, but you know, to me, that's saying all I am is my body and that's my value. And. I thought she did it because she had to cover her nipples. Well, she did have to cover her nipples. That was the point. All right, we're, we're, we're out of control here. We're out of control. Order, order in the women who write literary salon. So, okay, so, disclaimer, please do not get hurt, get robbed, uh, fall down, get drunk, do it. Do anything like that because I'm not responsible for anything or anyone other than my children. So you're on your own, no suing allowed. Okay. All right. You never know with this crap. You, not this crap. Okay. So I was telling you before we started that literally I have never gotten the amount of cancellations that I did to. I, 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 I went to sleep last night in terror that it was going to be me. The, the four other perform readers and and like five of you and that it was going to be and look at this look, at this. look what would we have done if they would have oh come right. what would we have done it's Thank fabulous God they cancel and, and right. that's right and and today is about gratitude I I I, I thought of the, about this about 15 minutes before you got here so much is going on one of the cancellations for the first time was I'm sorry I can't be there I can't afford the gas. And you know what? That's a sobering reality. I mean, we go cross town now, and what? It's 20 bucks to get there and back? I mean, that's, there's something wrong with this world. And we can't afford to be together because we can't afford the gas to get there. And it just made I, 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 you know, if I would have thought clearly, I would have said, come and I'll give you the gas money because well, we that's just, up, maybe. yeah, and we have to figure out how to carpool and stuff because that's what we need. We need, like, on the Women Who Write group page, if you're not on the Women Who Write group, Please join that group on Facebook, and then we can arrange rides. Because even if you can't afford it, why should everybody be spending fifteen dollars to get here? It's crazy. It's just public transportation. I don't know. There is public transportation somewhere, but but we should just be there. To, yeah, we take forever, but we should just we should just do that. And also. From those of us on this side of the hill, when we're going to the other side, we should do the same thing, and we can organize it on the Women Who Write group, which I, I think is great. Anyway, it's about gratitude for a, a few things. Today is um, dedicated to my friend Bob Fott now, and for those of you who don't know him on Facebook, 
He is a brilliant satirist, um, political satirist. He's just the funniest guy going. He was one of my very, very first Facebook friends years ago. And it used to be Elaine Boozler, me and Bob Fontenau, Ken Volek, and the four of us would, would, would speed comment on each other's threads <laughs> at three in the morning so fast that Facebook would shut us down every night. Oh. They'd say, if you don't slow down, we're going to cut you off. Because we were all like, running all over. And anyway, Bob was in a... Um, a fatal car a car accident um, on Thursday, and his the, his friend who was driving died, and Bob um, had a compound fracture on his his primary hand, his left arm, severe contusions to his head, his lungs, his kidneys were bruised, um, just. He's going to be in the hospital for a while. If you're not friends with him on Facebook, find him on my page, please. Go friend him. What's go send him name? some love. Bob Fontenau. But I call him BF. If It's F-O-N-T-N-E-A-U. And you'll find him on my page, because uh, and, and, and I'll be talking about it. And anyway, today is dedicated to his recovery, both um, of mind and body and soul, because I can't imagine... Um, the grief and the pain that he's in in all of those things. So today is about Bob, and it's about gratitude that that Bob survived and he's still with us, and I'm so grateful. And you'll you'll see him as BF on my page. Um, it's about gratitude for those of you that are here, that actually got here despite the gas, despite the winter cold, despite the doctor's appointments that you forgot you made. I mean, there, literally, there were I, I think there were 17 doctor's appointments that had been forgotten. I mean, what? I, 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 who am I to judge? But anyway, but I'm grateful for you that are here. I think it's wonderful. I need to check my notes because, oh, I'm grateful that I don't look like a monster. Um, for those of you that don't know, who don't read my Facebook, I woke up on Tuesday morning and my my son saw me and he went, you are so freaking scary. <laughs> my eyes, do you know, have you ever had an allergy attack to something that affected your eyes? I mean, literally, you couldn't see, I mean, the tops were like all lit, and on the bottom it was all filled with water and big bubbles, and it was, oh, oh my God, it was so horrific. And I had just been to the doctor the week before about something else, and I had to go back, I, and, but what's he going to tell me? But you know, I wanted to. So uh, cortisone. If it happens to you, oh. well, no, it was not inside the eye. It was outside. Oh. It was all the. So I, I don't. I'm still not exactly sure what it was because I stopped everything. So now, as I slowly introduce, I might get slightly monsterish. We'll see. But anyway, so I'm grateful that I, for you ladies, are not looking freakish and scary because that wouldn't be nice. So uh, I, I, I also want to say um, a bunch of us, as uh, what Suzanne was saying about us supporting each other, for those of you that haven't seen Suzanne's show, this is a must. This is an absolute must. And her next performance is Sunday. It's sold out. Oh! We're going to do it again in the summer. Okay, she's going to do it again in the summer. Don't miss it. Um, let's, uh, it cracked open. Let's, let's. Go and let's gook. Let's go. Let, go, let, let, go, let, let go, go and let gook. Okay. <laughs> let go and let God. Let go and let gook. And, let go and, let go. I, I, and uh, I know there was a in there somewhere. Oh, fantastic. And then a bunch of us met up and we went and saw Kelly Carlin's show on uh, 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 last uh, Friday. Friday. And our own Stephen Weber was there to support Aww. Kelly, which was so nice. And there were a bunch of us, and it was lovely. And she has another show on March 22nd. You can go to her website to uh, get information about tickets. Just Facebook her. You'll Fantastic find it. Show. A wonderful show. Lots of reminiscence about, about her dad, who was George. And uh, just wonderful things you won't hear any, anywhere else. And she did a lovely job, really good job. And Paul Prevenz as the director was an excellent thing. Um, okay, so yes, we did that. I'm going to let you, you guys are going to do shout outs in a bit. Um, I, I, I just want you to know that I'm also grateful because. Um, we have the sexiest men alive. Because what is sexier than a man who makes you laugh? Nothing. Because for me, and I want you to know, I shaved for you. Who else shaved him, boys? Oh, liars. Oh, finally. All right, I'm shaming the women in front. Okay, I also want to say that, you know, I plan for you guys before you come. You know, Three bathrooms. I count how many potties that is. And Allah, yeah. And yesterday, when I was going to clean the first bathroom, I took off my watch and I put it down on the TV. Now, I'm a litty. I'm, I'm a litty. <laughs> I'm a little perimental pause. 
<laughs> Title of my next book, what do you think? So, so it's good, right? So, okay, so I moved the watch and I do not know where. And I spent an hour going through the garbage because I thought maybe I threw it away and threw the rat. No, can't find it. So I'm going to make you the same offer I made my children a dollar for the person who finds it. <laughs> Wow. They didn't go for it either. So, okay. All right. So, to first timers, welcome. It's, I'm so glad that you're here. Thanks for coming. Um, you know, this is, this is just about enjoying each other and, and, and supporting each other, and then we have a human sacrifice at the end. <laughs> it's called, what, it's, it's, what's, what's that book? My kid's reading that book. It's called War Games or Hunger Games. Yes. yes, but you have to be 12. No, no, no. Oh, you know? Oh, I read all of them. Oh, okay. No, I love oh, my daughter is, she's right up to the first day. I like, but I like Twilight, too. All right. Oh, okay. All right. I have to do, all right. I just want to tell you, I don't know if you guys know about my damn channel uh, no. on the internet. If you don't know about Waste Time Here, it, it's, it's my favorite internet channel. Harry Shearer's on there. Um, Mary Lynn, how do you say her name? Right, right, right. Right, yeah, her. And, uh, and David Wayne's, Wayne Days. David just uh, directed the new Paul Rudd, Jennifer Aniston movie that just came out. But he has a show that runs Wonder on Lust. my damn channel. Wonder, Wonder, Wonder Lust. Wonderlust. Yes, he did. Yeah, that's him. And he's got his own uh, cable show. And, and the thing that I love, uh, Rob Burnett, who I adore, who, who founded and, and, and does this uh, my damn channel, He's, uh, I call him TV boy. Anyway, he um, he supports internet art at the same level as television art, and he pays and values it. You know, funny or die, ha ha, funny. They don't pay their talent. Uh uh. They live in nice big mansions. They don't pay their talent. No, but my damn channel. Mark Maron's on there now. Really? Yes. And we want him and his wife, Rob. We want to be on my damn channel, but anyway, but we love it. And so, that right? So I, I, uh, I, he had given me a, pen, a piece of swag when I had met him in July, and I used his. I love this pen, and I used it so much that it ran out of ink. So today he sent me a whole care package, and it came. Here's my my damn pen. I love that. Okay, so all right, so um, pen sweat. Yeah, we need pen sweat. That would be nice. Except my printer can't make pens. Okay. Um, oh, so who's coming up? I thought you were going to intro. Go. No, I'll let you know. Okay, so um, that was that was a, a, a little um, what's it called? A segue. A segue. You know, but I. Up. Huh? Who's coming up? Who's coming up? Thank you. All right, this is exciting. All right, I don't know for a hundred percent, million percent, because it, it depends on his work schedule. I'll know in the next couple of days. But I told you about Alan Zweibel. I'm so excited. Next month, Alan Zweibel was an original writer on Saturday Night Live. He created the Gilda Radner, Roseanne Rosanna Dana. He did the Jim oh, Belushi stuff. He wrote, he wrote Bunny. Bunny. He wrote Bunny Bunny. He oh, wrote God. Martin Short's one-man show, Billy Crystal's one-man oh, show. I mean, he, uh, Larry Sanders. He was he, uh, Gary Shandling. He was, yeah. wait, which Larry one? Sanders. Yeah. Larry, Larry Shandling. Gary Shandling. Oh, but the Larry Sanders show. No, the Larry Sanders, Sanders show. show. <laughs> he, yeah, but he had two, but it was the Larry Sanders show. It, it's the Larry Sanders show. He is... I mean, he is the funny behind the funny, and he yes. has this book called Lunatics with Dave. Ba I don't have the book in front with of me. Dave like Barry. With Dave Barry, and it is hysterical. I'm telling you, Carol Mel. It's hysterical. Anyway, so okay, we have him. Larry Miller. Do you know Larry Miller? Yes. Oh my God, Larry Miller's going to read for us. Oh my God. When is that? I think in May. Uh, Joe Pantolano, Joey Pants oh from God. The Sopranos. Oh my God. Yeah. Okay, Christina Hogg. Okay. How many of you remember JFK Jr.'s like love, like yes. the love of his life? Mm -hmm. Well, she wrote a book about it, and she's coming. She's coming in April. When I'm so excited. When is her name? Christina uh, Hogg. March 27th. Oh, and I got an email yesterday. Liz Winstead. Liz Winstead created The Daily Show. Hello. Oh, she's wow. coming to read for us. So we have unbelievable things, but no one as excited. As exciting as the readers we have today. <laughs> 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 <laughs>